is how much are they going to eventually have clocked up? Is it the full 100 billion? Well, the target is 100 billion. This is the amount that uh, Masayoshi San announced in February, in October was the target. Uh, now they're moving through that. Uh, it looks like they're going to close a first round of fundraising uh, around the end of this month. Uh, what the sources told us is that the goal is to close it at the end of this month. It may vary by a couple of days, but they should be able to get around $80 billion, maybe more than that. So it's going to be an enormous amount of money, whatever happens. And that's going to give Masayoshi Son some more capital to go out and hunt for deals. He's been a very acquisitive uh, CEO for a long time. Of course, he bought Sprint in the United States. He bought the chipmaker Arm Holdings in the UK. And this will give him even more capital to go out and look for these kinds of deals. Tim, let's focus on that Sprint deal because you've been looking at the numbers since SoftBank came out with them and it hasn't been that good a purchase thus far and much aim is that potentially they're able to bulk it up with another acquisition in the US. Yeah, look, they've just uh, reported 10 straight quarters of net income losses, so net losses at Sprint. So Massa has really not been able to turn it around since he's, uh, he's bought the company a few years ago and that's a drag on the bottom line for SoftBank. So yes, they've got this nice, you know, 80, 100 billion dollar fund that will play out over the next few years, but they really have short term problems here. And a key point really is they're number four in the US market, so Sprint is really a long way behind uh, the leaders and they do need to do this deal with T-Mobile. They tried it before and it got pushed back by regulators, but we saw, um, you know, just a few months ago, Masayoshi Sung came to the US and, and had his golden handshake with, with Donald Trump, who was president-elect at the time, made all these pledges about, you know, creating jobs here, but really it's about trying to smooth the way for him to do that deal, because if he can't get that deal done, I see no way that Sprint's going to be able to turn around. They're number four in the market, and it's going to be really difficult to turn around and be profitable in the long term unless they can consolidate with T-Mobile. Peter, remind us when we saw those golden handshakes that Tim was just talking about with D President Donald Trump, who was the president elect at that point. We heard that a lot of this money from the fund was going to be dedicated to the United States, but what else sort of deal making do we expect from it? And who else could be potentially sidling up against the Larry Ellisons and Apple and, and Saudi Arabia as well? Well, it was interesting. Uh, SoftBank reported earnings just be before we put out this story. So Masayoshi Son did a press conference where he talked about uh, the earnings, sort of that was the excuse for getting out in front of the press. But then he began talking about the Vision Fund and what he hopes to accomplish with it. Uh, and he certainly is focused on the United States. He talked about a couple of uh, uh, deals that they're interested in there. They just agreed to put money into a satellite company called OneWeb. Uh, where they're going to try to create internet connectivity uh, around the world through these uh, low, low Earth orbiting uh, satellites. He also talked about uh, Sprint. Um, you suspect that with this vision fund, they are going to be uh, focused a bit on the United States, given that uh, understanding with uh, President Trump. But they're also going to be look globally, looking globally at other opportunities, especially around some of the things that he talked about in this press conference were the Internet of Things, uh, artificial intelligence, the singularity. So he, he said he used to worry about getting enough cash for a few months and then 10 years, and now he's looking out hundreds of years into the future. So he's certainly looking pretty far out at this point. But Peter, isn't the problem really with the Vision Fund the fact that it's going to take a long time for you know that to return any kind of dividends? You know they talk about the idea of permanent capital. You know a Vision Fund by its nature is go it's not going to be next year. It's not going to be the year after. It could be many many years before it starts to return dividends. And in the meantime, he's got a telco business that he's got to deal with. What are you hearing about the timeline of you know when they'll start to get some kind of dividends, which of course is important for SoftBank shareholders. They need some kind of return from this. Yeah, re remember, this is a guy who has uh, changed his business model many times over the past. And yesterday, in the, or the day before yesterday in the press conference, he was asked about what kind of business SoftBank is becoming. Because it started out as a software reseller. It moved into telecom. Then it moved into global telecom in the United States. And he's talking about it now as an investment company. Remember, this is the company that invested in Alibaba and made many, many times its money, more yeah. than $60 billion. Uh, and also... Um, yeah made some other successful investments, so yes, yeah, Sprint is an issue.